about a year later, I got to ask the supporters of all that. How's that drill, baby drill? Stop working out for you. Okay, everybody. This talk is going to be about the oil spill in the Gulf Coast. Uh, where do I start off? This is a disaster. The whole world should be uh, concerned about this. It's, it's a terrible situation. It's going to affect us for years to come. And I was hearing reports that the Exxon Valdez, uh, which was, you know, decades ago, is still affecting the uh, wildlife in Alaska. And Sarah Palin, you know, she's a moron. Why do we listen to these morons? They have, they don't back up, they can't back up anything that they say with any sort of facts. They just spew out this propaganda. And they're fucking wrong. And they're destroying the fucking planet. And they have no limits. And it doesn't matter what happens. They'll just shrug it off and say, nope, business as usual. Drill baby drill is not an energy policy. We got this oil rig on fire, and then it sinks down to the ground. Think of all the wasted money that goes into building one of these things, and then shipping all the, uh, the oil around. Wouldn't it be easier if we just had energy in abundance all around us? Instead of jumping through these hoops and having all these disasters, wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to do all this crap, all this bullshit, all this waste? And so here we are. We got the wildlife is dying off in this sludge, this toxic sludge. And yeah, it's a terrible situation. Why why are we gonna put up with all this? Why are we putting up with this? All of their excuses don't hold any weight with me. Because I see through their lies, I see through the bullshit and we don't have to do this. This is the worst way of getting energy. Alright? And I've said it before in other videos and I'll say it again. There's new technologies that are around. Bloom Energy is one example of this. Okay? And there's no downside to this. You make fuel cells out of sand and it could power business, whatever you need. Huge factories, businesses, homes, cars, anything that you need for power, it will power it. It uses any type, any type of fuel, including solar. Arnold is doing a good job because he supports Bloom Energy. I saw him at the at the press conference that they did for the unveiling of it and it just makes sense it's cheaper it's easier why <laughs> why would you want to do things deliberately the wrong way that make you jump around in circles jump through hoops while a select a handful of people the global elites use it to profit off you for uh, using oil this is what the fuel cell looks like one of them it's just it's made out of sand it's a side view but yeah it's made out of sand this is a stack of them put together this is what they look like individually on both sides they're just little sand wafers But it could power anything because the way it works is just like a continuous battery. It's so simple and it makes perfect sense.
two of those blocks could power a U.S. home for about 50 years. You know? It's so simple to make. We could do this if we actually had a serious energy policy. We could have this done before the year's out. Before the year's done. And people tell me, oh no, well, you know, all of the cars and trucks, they use gasoline. Yeah, but you know what? All the cars and trucks used to have fucking tape decks in them, too. You know? And now, they have CDs in them. Or, D or MP3s and everything else. You know? I, I Their philosophy makes no sense. It's like, oh, this is the way it is, and that's the way it goes, and forever until eternity. And why, why can't they accept change? It's a better way of doing things. And even the cars that are already on the road, you could convert them to hydrogen. Hydrogen is everywhere. You you could take fucking water and make it a hydrogen and oxygen. And all you need to do that is electrolysis. And all you need for electrolysis is electricity. And so you use the fucking bloom boxes that can run off of solar power to create all the electricity you could ever, ever need. Hydrogen cars work. We need to start getting in line with the natural way that things are supposed to be. Hydrogen cars work. And, you know, for anybody that likes you know, powerful cars, they should love hydrogen because it's it's more it's pow more powerful than fucking gasoline. And there's no emissions. It's just better all around. And so you guys could say your drill baby drill and wear your drill baby drill t shirts. But you better wear have somebody stand with one of these I'm with stupid t shirts right next to you the whole time. I mean, and they actually bought these shirts. Would you trust anybody that wears one of these things? You would, would you think that, of, of them to be an educated type of person wearing a, a drill baby drill shirt? And now I, I will get to Obama on this one. Obama, you know, I have to come down hard on you on this. I have to come down very hard on you. It might be an impeachable offense. Because you know why? You are not defending the citizens against enemies foreign or domestic. You are not doing your fucking job. And why I think maybe you should get impeached over this is because I know the game you're playing. You try to hedge your bets and you try to play both sides. Instead of being a fucking man, you can give your, your opinion on fucking, uh, you know, who's going to win basketball. But you can't give a good fucking solid straight answer about the fucking energy policy. And another reason why you might be impeached is because you just said a couple weeks ago about you're going to have a study of offshore drilling for, few, for further oil, oil rigs off the side. And that tells me one of two things. Either you're straight up lying or you're incompetent and don't know about new technologies like bloom energy and either way would say that you're not qualified for the job